Okay, so I have three pounds here worth of frozen veggies that I dehydrated. This is three pounds worth. So now I'm, that's room in my freezer. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these up. Simply potatoes, they're already um, shredded. And the only reason why I bought these is because they were on markdown, 99 cents. So there's a pound here, so two pounds worth of potatoes. I'll go ahead and um, start dehydrating. Here they are. So I'm just gonna put them in the tray holder here. Oh, I forgot, hold on. Okay, so Kim at WD Mo WDW Mommy, she told me that tip of putting a glass jar in the center so, I, so the food doesn't fall through. Okay, I think that should do it. It's gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and dump it. And as it shrinks down, cause I only have two of these mats. And what I'll do is I'll just, uh, as they start to dry down, I'll just scatter, um, scatter them, move them around. Okay, so there's that one. All right, maybe it's best I, don't pile them up like that. Okay, so we will come back when these taters are dehydrated. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, friends, so here it is. Here's three pounds of mixed frozen veggies. They were in my freezer. And here's the uh, Markdown Simply Potatoes. Uh, there's two pounds of potatoes in here. The only thing I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and take the, plunge it and remove the air and plop them in. It sure pays to uh, take a peek at the Markdowns. Over at Save Mart, they had a shopping cart with bananas and uh, artichokes and these mushrooms were marked down to 99 cents and their their mushrooms are priced at 2.89 and i was planning to go to the mexican grocery store which was has been selling them for $1.99 so i saved six dollars here i'm buying these markdowns and they're still in great condition look at that they're still beautiful so these, my dears, are going to get dehydrated. See how the, uh... yeah, it'll be a while, the mushrooms. They're getting... <gasps> Ooh, they're getting there. I don't want to ruin my mushrooms now. They're getting there. Okay, so back in October, I believe it was the week of the 11th <clears throat> or the 17th, when I purchased two, when Cost Less Foods had 10 pound bags of potatoes, russets for $1.88, I think. And I picked up two and I stored them in here. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, so let's just see how the potatoes are doing. There's one little potato there. I need more potatoes, I'm out. Yeah, so it looks like it's working out pretty good. They don't have any eyes on here yet. I got a couple of, well, it does look like they're starting to get little tiny eyes on them. So it's been a, just a tad warm, but I think, oh yeah, this one has eyes too. Yeah. Well, they've been doing, this is pretty good for what, October? It's almost going to be a month they've been here. So I think October 17th, they've been in this garage. And there's another layer underneath. 
20 pounds of taters in here. Let's see. Actually, there's three layers there. So, yeah, they're doing pretty good. Ran out of taters, so I'm getting some. So just storing them lightly like this in a box really helps out. Okay, so got some stored potatoes. Okay, friends, so that's what I've done so far. Um, each store I've gone to, I see plenty of canning jars, but I do not see any canning lids for either the regular or the wide mouth jars. Um, there's a couple of store, other stores I can go to. Rayleigh's didn't have it, Save Mart. O'Brien's doesn't have them. So I think I might pick up another case or two of some canning jars. And uh, so far I've just been looking in the markdowns and just, just dehydrating and, you know, chopping and doing things. So, yeah. Okay, friends. So let me know in the comments below. What have you been working on this week uh, as far as food storage? If you do put away food storage and uh, let me know. All right, friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.